In today's video, we will be reviewing these new Fortnite blasters, the LP and Flipknock Dual Pack. So without further ado, let's get on with the review. That's pretty cool. Included in the box is the two blasters and a bag of darts. Surprisingly enough, the instructions are actually printed on the box. Now the darts included are elite darts and they have some pretty cool colors, except mine came a little bit squished. Usually reviews like this take me 10 to 15 minutes to show you a blaster, which is quite absurd. I'm gonna try to keep this video under 10 minutes. So let's get straight into it. This is the Fortnite LP. Um, that comes with the Fortnite Flintknock. It's a two-pack. It's called the Dual Pack. Uh, and this is the LP part of it. Um, it is a single-shot spring blaster. Uh, you prime with this top handle right here. Um, nothing unique. You don't load it actually via the top like a Magnus. You load it at the front right here. You load one dart. I primed it. And you can fire. Pretty simple. Um, it shoots roughly 60 FPS, uh, which is common for a single shot nerf blaster. Uh, I think it should shoot a little bit harder than that, uh, but honestly, if you're buying this blaster, you're buying it, buying it because of it being a prop style blaster. Because uh, the only thing I have positive to say about this is the fit and finish is fantastic. Um, they added this hexagon texture. I don't know, you can see it in the light up there. Uh, throughout the whole blaster. Uh, except the handle, this part, and the white part, which they added a different texture. Um, the, the proportions are very realistic to an actual handgun, uh, which is very nice. Uh, and um, the prime feels quite realistic to an actual handgun as well. Um, since there's no shells or anything, you're not losing shells. So if you wanted a prop-style pistol that looked like a pistol but had the Nerf colors, this might be what you're looking for. Now let's talk about, in my opinion, the more interesting blaster, the Flintknock part of the dual pack. This is the Flintknock Fortnite pistol, and I do mean Flintknock. In the game, that's what it's called, uh, but it's supposed to resemble a Flintlock pistol, and it does that very well. Uh, it is also a single shot blaster loaded with the front. Take a dart, load it up front, prime it. It is a hammer action blaster, and I should mention that this hammer is really unique, but other than that, shoot it. Um, Usually, with a hammer action blaster, when you prime it back, like such, it stays in the rear position, and when you click the trigger, it slams it forward. But this hammer has a spring return for some reason. I've never seen a spring return on a hammer action blaster, but it works quite well. You, and um, because of its size, this hammer is so large, it's very hard to do it with one hand, especially because the prime stroke is like an inch. And it does shoot decent. It shoots roughly 55 FPS, which, again, it's a single shot hammer action springer. That makes sense. Um, quite average for what it offers and what it is. Um, but yeah, because it's such a short stroke and that this priming handle is so long, it, you'll have a very hard time priming it with one hand. Like, I'm an adult. You know, I have a big hand and I have a hard time getting up here and priming it with one finger. It is possible, but if you were planning on doing a... Uh, Jack Sparrow one hand prime shoot it's not gonna happen uh, because doing that takes a lot of effort uh, probably more realistic that way but uh, usually I just use a second hand I use it I prime it and then I shoot it uh, but yeah that's basically a flintlock pistol other than it's very unique uh, priming handle it's a simple single shot pistol like the other one um, and it also has an incredible fit and finish it has polka dots I don't know if you can see it in the light uh, there are polka dots uh, that are textured all over, all over all of the red of the blaster. The black has a slick finish, and this side, not the other side, this side has the safety uh, legal jarble, uh, has a nice finished um, indent that they put that makes it look like a piratey pistol. So again, if you're a cosplayer or you want to um, plink with something that looks like this pistol, then this is what you're looking for. It's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, um, it's way, it's an oval. That's another thing that should be mentioned. Uh, so if you want it to be perfectly circular, you might want to look somewhere else for a prop style blaster. But yeah, this blaster is pretty cool. Single shot, hammer, really all you need to know. There's no tactics, there's no rails to talk about. So my overall opinion of the pack is pretty positive, but not like ultra positive. 
Like, I appreciate what it's trying to do. It does as advertised. Um, so there is that. At least they're not lying to you. Uh, but it's overpriced. It's 35 Canadian dollars for two single shot blasters, which is way too much money. Um, other than the fact that it has a great fit and finish, really, there's no point in buying this unless you are a cosplay or a display person or somebody who has to have a blaster for anything other than performance uh, because they don't perform well either. I wish they made the pistol shoot harder and I also wish the pistol had a working air restrictor. If I prime and shoot it, it has a weird thing, like it doesn't have a working air restrictor. So not a big fan of that. This one, if I can prime it and not drop it, has a working air restrictor. So I don't know what the hell is going on uh, with it, but there you go. There is your dual blaster pack. If you're interested in purchasing it, it's a brand new pack. You can find it at Walmart uh, for roughly 35 Canadian. It's a lot. I think it's way too much, but I don't know. Whatever you guys think. If you like to purchase it, uh, check out your local Walmart. Thank you so much for watching this review. Um, I am planning on making two reviews in the coming weeks. One of the reviews is going to be of the Pathfinder because I have been requested of, by a viewer to review the Pathfinder. And I will also be reviewing the Nerf Flip 32. I've owned this for a while. I made a TikTok review of it, but I think I should make a full review. So if you guys are interested in seeing a review of this blaster, which is a flip lever action shotgun, let me know. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a fantastic day.